In other stories now, shop owners in the Jewish Shaga area of Lagos here in southwest Nigeria have called on the state governments to come to their aid. Following the loss of property worth millions of naira to a gas explosion on Tuesday night, senior correspondent Sharon Ijasson has more. A few hours after a gas cylinder explosion occurred in a Jew Ishaga area of Lagos State, shop owners have been counting their losses. When TVC News visited the scene, eyewitnesses say more than 15 shops were impacted by the fire. Honestly, as of then, because you know the rate of dollar now, so we don't know how much they're selling now. But as of then, like that one there is 2.7 million naira. This small one is 1.7 million. There's another one there that is burned to ashes. That one, about that one, 900,000. I have about four printing machines, but this one is dear. If they are not too much, we should be talking about 16, 17 million naira. Because even the carton of milk that I used to buy from her is 24,000 already. And she has stock of cartons of milk. Emergency responders and security operatives were seen trying to ensure that normalcy returns to the area. Disaster occurred around 10.20 p.m. We activated our emergency response plan. All the key stakeholders that are important in managing emergency moved to the scene. We are able to curtail the spread of the fire. We are able to put a lot of things in place. I met with Blessing John and other victims whose shops got burnt due to the explosion. They are calling on the government and other well-meaning Nigerians to help them restart their businesses. The Jewish Shaga community is a border town between Ogun State and Lagos State. Though no lives was lost at this unfortunate incident, many of the residents want the state government to enforce safety measures at all levels. Sharon Jackson, TVC News, Lagos.